Okay, sorry about that. Okay, so welcome back to another video. I'm gonna upload this tomorrow if I can. It's a minor funny um, game, so y'all been one. Equestrian Dream is a mother. Okay. Now, I'm playing a game called My Little Investigations. It's a game that I've seen so seen before and um Yeah, there's no there's no other cases. Maybe they might make new cases. I'm not entirely sure if they will. They only have one case. True blue skulu, that's what it is. When skew uh, skulu gets accidentally uh, accused of a big gym heist it's up to m what newly minted detective twilight twilight sparkle to get to the bottom of, in of the case oh do i is it no there's no safe Oh, okay, PT, oh, 1808. Found it! Found it! Found it! Here's somewhere! Look, I'm looking! Give me a break! Too dark! Can't see a thing. Yes! That's a thing called mouth! <laughs> look at it! Wait, I think. Aha! Uh -huh. I found it! Finally! Let's get out of here! Quickly! <laughs> what the? What's going on? Rarity, I came as soon as I heard. What happened? Oh, Twilight! It's awful, horrible, dreadful, perhaps even the worst possible thing! Uh-huh. And that would be... Why, Twilight? Do I detect skepticism? Well, I shall have you know that last night I became a victim. A tragic, tragic victim. Woe is me. I shall never recover from this injury that's been brought upon me. English, Rarity. <sighs> I was in the zone, Twilight. But if I must, last night I was stolen from... Stolen from? What was stolen? They were stolen, Twilight! Both of them! Uh, who? My two jewels! True Blue and Oppo! Ahem. Twilight, what Rarity is trying to say is that thieves broke into the Carousel Boutique last night and stole both the True Blue, a large sapphire which she had recently acquired when gem hunting, and Opal, which is her, uh, her cat. Oh, good thing! Oh, good thing! Oh, my poor, poor darling, all alone out there with those, those ruffians! I'm gonna go ahead and hope that she was talking about her cat there. What happened? Do you have any idea who did this? Well, no. I'm afraid we haven't the slightest idea. Ponyville doesn't really have much of a police force, you see, so we are a little under-equipped to handle something like this. This doesn't happen very often, you know. An investigative team from Canterlot has agreed to look into it, but I'm afraid they won't be here for a few days. A few days?! But the thieves might be long gone by then, and... Wait, is this the same investigative team as last time? Exactly what happened last time? I can't seem to recall. The one brought in to investigate the baby that went missing and which ended up being found unharmed in the closet? 
Ah, yes, I do recall that. But I'm not sure where you're going with The one that somehow managed to implicate Pinkie Pie in a fictional Dragon X smuggling ring? Well, uh, yes. Yes, that's the one. Think positive, Twilight. They may, uh, perform better this time. Yes, that's the ticket. Yeah. <laughs> well, there's not much for it either way, Twilight. After all, no pony in our town has any experience with this sort of thing. We'll just have to wait it out. Oh, I have so much to do at the moment. I simply can't stay around any longer. We'll get to the bottom of this as soon as that investigative team arrives, Rarity. You have my word. Okay, there goes the bear. <sighs> I'm afraid she's right, you know. We shall simply have to wait it out. Yeah. If that investigative team gets their hooks on this case, who knows what ridiculous things they might come up with this time. There has to be a better way. Rarity? I'm on the case! I beg your pardon, Twilight? Some pony needs to get to the bottom of this, right? Well, I volunteer. I've had experience investigating crime before, after all. Twilight, I'm really not sure if that's such a grand idea. Well, I mean, sure. That particular investigation pretty much involved completely airtight evidence that directly identified the culprits in one go. And it also included an eyewitness who saw almost everything who could lead me exactly to the clues. But it's not like the team from Canterlot will be much better, right? Forgive me, Twilight, if your words do not inspire a great deal of confidence. It'll be fine. Don't you worry, Rarity. I'll have this case wrapped up in a jiffy. Mystery novels came through for me then, so surely they'll come through for us again. Hey! Gah! Pinky! Where in Equestria did you come from? Oh, well, I was walking by and I was all, <gasps> My assistance is needed! And I must fulfill my duty! Yeah, Pinky. Uh-huh. What are you doing? Pinky Pie. Helping a pony in need! Duh! who knows something about investigations, not you. Remember what happened last time? <laughs> of course I do, silly! But this time is completely different! I have, wait for it, a walkthrough! Uh, a what? A walkthrough, silly! For this game, the way things work are completely different than last time! Honestly, sometimes I worry about her. Pinky, you're talking to some bushes. Oh, Twilight! I'm not talking to those old things! I'm talking to them! Out there! Do you see what I have to work with here? Yeah, I see. You know what? I'm not even going to ask. <laughs> Just, uh, do your thing, Pinky. The first step of any investigation is to move around. You can't find anything if you don't move your little rock to where the clues are. So, to walk places, you first lift your hoof up and move it in front of your other hoof. Pinky, I'm pretty sure I know how to walk. Oh, right! But I bet you've never walked like this before. Now, if you want her to walk, well, you just gotta click on the spot you want her to walk to, and she goes! Or, if you want her to keep moving, just press and hold, and she'll walk towards your cursor! And, of course, if you wanted to get somewhere lickety-split, just double-click and hold, and she'll run, run, run like the wind! I'm pretty sure I can walk myself. Oh, Twilight! Don't you worry your pretty little head about the details. They'll figure it out, and that's a pinky promise! Okay, so now we know how to move. Great, but what about, you know, examining evidence? Oh, that's simple! If 
if you want to talk to someone or look at something, all you gotta do is click on it. Easy peasy. Why, I bet if you clicked on that broken window there, you'd think of lots of things to say about it. It's just a window. Yeah, but you gotta keep them happy, right? So you better think of something to say about it. Otherwise, they might get upset. Right, of course. We wouldn't want to make them upset after all. And that's it! That's it? That's it! Well, that's not it, it but it's it for now. Because the other it's come later. You're not ready for those it's yet, though. Don't you worry about them. Uh, okay... Was it not? Pinkie Pie always with the uh, wa fourth wall breaking. Always with the fourth wall breaking, Pinkie Pie. That's one way to describe it. But useful, wouldn't you say? Though I must confess, I still do not believe that this is a good idea. Don't worry, Verity. I'll get to the bottom of this before that investigation team even gets here. A strange star-shaped object? I can't say I know what this is, but it looks out of place, which makes it a clue in my book. A star-shaped object, a golden object in the shape of an eight-pointed star. Unclear what its purpose is or where it came from. take a sharp eye to see that these are tire marks, and it doesn't take a sharp wit to figure out that whoever was here probably was the cause of this broken window, too. Okay. Tire marks. Curve the tire marks found by the Curacao Boutique this morning leading towards the broken window, okay? Is there anything else here? Is this... hair? Hmm. White strand, strands of hair found by the Kyoto Boutique uh, this morning next to the pair, to a pair of tire tracks, yeah. Hey! How's it going, Twilight? <laughs> Get it. Pinky, where do you keep coming from? Oh, silly. That's not important. What is important is what you just got there. It's hair. <laughs> it's not just hair. Why, it's a clue. And do you know what every super deep duperific investigator does with clues? Do tell. They use their big, humongous brains to figure out stuff about them, of course. Jeez, it's like she hasn't even read the walkthrough. All you gotta do is bring up the evidence list, click on a piece of evidence or a profile, then click on combined with. Click on another, then click on combine. And then your investigative wizardry takes care of the rest. If it can. Sometimes it's a dud. But that's the magic of investigation for you. Also, if you ask for extra help from the options menu, then the evidence button will get all glowy woey to let you know that there's some evidence you can combine. Right. I'll get right on that. between the hair and the tire marks, now that she mentions it. Okay. Okay. Is this... Okay, I don't need to, like, do the hair thing. Combine. Combine. If we assume that this hair is from some animal, then it'd naturally follow that the rider probably swerved here to avoid hitting it. Explaining why that pony went towards the window. Ex 
Except, what animal was it? A pony, perhaps? Yeah. Uh, probably could. Okay, yeah. Oh. A piece of cloth. Red on one side, gold on the other. I think I know what this is from. Okay, I got... Pinky, ah! stop doing that! Yeah, stop doing... trying to concentrate here. Yeah, stop doing that, Pinky! Oh, sorry, but I thought you might really like to know this latest thing I found in the walkthrough! <sighs> what is it? Well, if you get a piece of evidence that someone might know about, then after you start talking to them, you can click on Present Evidence! You know what they know about it. Pretty neat, huh? Uh, I'm supposed to do what to what now? <sighs> Twilight, honestly, what am I gonna do with you? <sighs> well, you know what I meant, right? Of course I do. I'll work out peachy key to the end. I just know it. Way to fill me with confidence, Pinky. Fourth wall breaking! Just a flower bush. Nothing special, really. Although, now that I take a closer look, there's a ball here. With a note? Hmm. Sometimes a pony just has a plain old ball emergency, and that's why I've set these up. Play around with it as much as you like. Just make sure you return it here when you're done with it. Wouldn't want some pony to have a ball emergency and not be able to solve it. Okie dokie, Loki. Somehow, I get a sense for who put. Why did my game lag? Somehow, I get a sense of for who put this here. You know, I only see those tents when I come by here. But I've never actually learned what they are. Maybe they're merchants. Seems like they'd be closer to town square though. Or gypsies? I'd have thought they would have left by now if so. Or maybe it's all a big front for a secret group of dragon egg smugglers. And they're all hoping that just like I have all this time, we pay them no mind because they're just tents of no consequence in the background. When all this time, right under our noses, they've been shifting dozens upon dozens of illicit dragon eggs to a shadowy, nefarious crime boss! Nah, probably gypsies. Oh, okay. <laughs> wow, these are some really nice bushes. Very eye-catching. So much that you might think that they're important, but they're not. Oh, that's the tree that Opalescence keeps getting stuck in. It seems to have become a bit of a habit of hers ever since Rainbow Dash put her there to convince Rarity to come out of her room. One time, Winona chased her up that tree. Applejack was awfully apologetic. But we spent quite a while trying to convince her to come down. Then another time, Rainbow Dash was practicing her aerial acrobatics and kind of messed something up. Causing her to crash right into Carousel Boutique and making poor Opal scurry up that tree once again. And then there was a time that the Cutie Mark Crusaders were trying to get their Cutie Marks in interpretive dance. I don't really know exactly what happened, but by the time they were done, we had a tiger loose in Ponyville, Rarity's hair was on fire, and Opalescence was back up in the tree. Again. Needless to say, Rarity did not like their, um, interpretation of dance. Anyway, she's not in the tree this time. Surprisingly enough. Sure 
one way to get into a building. You'd think a jewel thief would be more, well, subtle than that. Let me talk to her. Rarity, I think we should start with what happened last night. Of course, darling. What would you like to know? Could you describe exactly what happened and what you saw? Well, I'm afraid there isn't much to tell. I was sleeping in my bedroom when suddenly I heard a shrill crash from downstairs. I went downstairs to investigate, and what did I find but my house overturned and ransacked? My prized jewel gone, and my beloved Opal Essence missing as well. Oh, Opal, Mama's coming soon. Hmm, perhaps I should ask more specifically about what was stolen. What was stolen added to your question, it's okay. And that was everything there is to speak of? You saw nothing else at all? No, nothing I'm afraid. So sorry, Twilight. That sounded awfully suspicious. Rarity, are you hiding something? <coughs> ah! Pinky, what are... Actually, you know what? Never mind. I can guess. Ooh, ooh, can I guess too? Uh, is it a bread box? <sighs> Pinky, just get on with it. Get on with what? Aren't you here to tell me what to do here? Nope. Why? What's going on? Well, for one... I think Rarity's hiding something from me. Oh, you mean the topic got lost. The what now? Mm. One sec. <laughs> yeah, here it is. Section 2B of the walkthrough. Locked topic. I really need to have a look sometime at that strange book she's got there. Okay, you ready for this? Um, yes? Okay, here goes. Sometimes, a character won't want to tell you everything. In other words, they're hiding something from you! Yeah, I think that was established already. Oh, well, let's see here. It also says that in order to unlock that topic, you need to present a certain piece of evidence. Do you have it? Uh, maybe? <sighs> Are we done now? Nobody knows now. The walkthrough also notes that sometimes you need to present more than one piece of evidence, too. If that happens, then the topic of conversation gets locked with as many lots of pieces of evidence you need to present. Don't be so quiet because, you know, I let y'all listen to this, uh, this dialogue. Just a mental asylum, if I wasn't worried about what she would do to it. Last night. Could you describe everything that was stolen last night? Of course! First there was True Blue, a regular hunk of a sapphire that shone in the light like a noonday sky. Oh, whatever shall I do without the light of that jewel in my workshop? Second, there was Opal. My darling, darling Opal! She's been missing since last night, too. Now with the jewel, I can understand, but what could the thieves possibly want with Opal? It greatly troubles me to think of what might have happened to her. You must find them both, Twilight. Promise me. You must. You must! Drama Queen. I'll do my best, Rarity. I promise. Not, Not just a giant sapphire, but her cat, cat too? too? What an what equestria could that, that be about? Yeah. 
Eksi. Aaa. Goodbye. Alright, let's think about this logically here. Hair this color and this length is pretty rare, as far as Equestria goes. There really aren't any ponies that it could have come from. In fact, the only creature that I can think of that it could have come from is Opalescence. And that would mean that whoever was here swerved and crashed into the window because Opalescence was in his or her path. And that would all come together to mean that this broken window likely was an accident. It feels like there's more to this than just that, but it's a start at least. Okay, got that. Okay, let me go this way. We go on this journey. I'm not done investigating the crime scene yet. Oh, yeah. I should look around more. You're not done? Oh, really? You're not done? What? 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 Not actually done. What am I supposed to do here then? Oh, you're not done here? What am I supposed to do here then? Oh, wait. Evidence. Oh, I remember this little problem. You, you do? Of course. I fixed that this morning, in fact. I can tell you about it if you'd like. Though I'm not really sure if it's relevant to this case, darling. Don't worry, Rarity. Every little bit of information helps. Bloom came by this morning to have this little accident fixed up. She seemed to have ripped her cape during one of her usual excursions. I asked her why she didn't just get Sweetie Belle to fix it up, but she said that Sweetie Belle was very busy today and couldn't spare any time to do so. I really don't know what those fillies are up to, but on the other hand, perhaps it's better I don't know. I swear, sometimes I don't understand myself. Sweetie Belle absolutely ruined my gold silk and now here I am, fixing the capes they made with it. I'm an odd sort. Do you think I'm odd, Twilight? Oh, Rarity. I think you just have a big heart. <sighs> Don't remind me, Twilight. Sometimes it can be a bit tiresome. So this belonged to Apple Bloom, and she had it fixed this morning. Hmm. Okay, I got that. It's updated. While I'm here, Rarity, do you know where Apple Bloom went after you fixed her cape? I'm not certain of her exact whereabouts, but she did head out towards the town square after I gave her the fixed cape. Mm. Perhaps that should be where you should search? Alright. Thanks, Rarity. Yeah, thanks, Rarity. Okay, now I can go there. I can go here. Can you do that for me, Sweetie Belle? At least until this all blows over. Of course! Leave it to me, Apple Bloom! See ya! Hmm. I wonder what those two are talking about. Official Cutie Mark Crusader business, maybe? Might as well have a chat with Apple Bloom while she's here. I don't think I've seen you around before. Are you new here? Yes. Well, no. Well, sort of. I travel a lot around Equestria. I haven't been in Ponyville for quite some time, so... mostly. 
Well, welcome back then. My name is Twilight Sparkle. I'm Princess Celestia's student, but, well, in my day job, I take care of the town library too. Oh, of course. I've heard of you. Word of your exploits do have a way of reaching quite far away, let me tell you. Do they? <laughs> well, um, I'm really nothing to speak about, to be honest. But it's nice to make your acquaintance all the same. So, what do you do? I'm a sculptor. Or at least, that's what I most enjoy. Traveling helps me a lot with inspiration. Oh, sculpting! Have you seen our town's fountain? You might like it. Well, actually, I've seen it before. Or, well, I've done more than just seen it. I made it a while ago. Wow, really? I had no idea. Well, you should feel proud of it. It's very well done. Thank you. Although, there is one thing that catches my eye, now that I think about it. What's that? That plaque. Was that added recently? It wasn't put there when I made it, at least. And I didn't make it for the mayor. The rich family commissioned the statue. She... wait, what? Huh, boy. I wish this surprised me anymore. <laughs> Anyways, I was in the middle of pondering my next sculpture. It was very nice meeting you, Twilight Sparkle. Likewise. Okay, wait, what? What happened to the statue? Oh, this statue? I don't see it now. Oh, in there, but... What's this crowd all about? I didn't know there was an event today. They're having an apple eating contest! Yeah! The apple jacks way in the lead! Whoa! If she eats all those apples, she might get a wicked bad tummy ache. Yep, she might. My name is Twilight Sparkle. Are you new in town? I don't think I've ever seen you before. Well, duh! I'm a time traveler. Name's Abby Sprocket. Uh, what now? I've seen weird introductions before, but sheesh. A time traveler. But my time machine broke down, so now I'm kind of stuck here. For now, at least. So I'm trying to make a living as fast as I can. Nice place you got here, although a little rusty, if I may say so. Breathe, Breathe Twilight. <sighs> Breathe. Breathe. So, how exactly are you a time traveler? Time travel spells are incredibly high level. I mean, I only managed to go back in time a week, and even then I only had less than a minute! Oh, Twilight, you need to think outside the box. You get a good know-how, the impossible becomes possible. Or something like that. My mentor was a bit of a cute, but I guess what I'm trying to say is I built a time machine and, well, now I'm here. Uh-huh. And I'm secretly a robot with mysterious powers. Really? Huh. I didn't think they had robots in this age. Hold on, let me get some tools and open you up and have a look at how you work. <laughs> oh? Huh. You had me convinced with how robotic you were acting. <sighs> Even ponies from the future don't give me a break. Yep, there's that time stop person. Dr. Who's a lover, just saying. Uh. Well, I'm gonna talk to this. I'll, I'll talk to Apple Blue in the next. Um, episode next part, you know. So next episode, I would talk to Apple Bloom. So I'm gonna end this video here. So if you enjoyed, and uh, bye, y'all.